Hello mga Mathusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang mat ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today sa video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay ang unang topic ninyo sa second quarter. Pero bago ko simulan yun, siguraduhin muna ang pindutin nyo na ngayon na ngayon na ang like button para hindi mo na makalimutan. At kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, kadidiscover mo pa lang, kadarating mo lang, kakikita mo pa lang sa amin, pindutin mo na itong subscribe button at syempre, ihit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko pa. Okay na? Sobrang na-miss ko kayo ah, pero ayaw ko nang patagalin pa to. Simulan na natin! Ano nga ba ang direct variation? Okay, when two quantities, so meron kang dalawang quantities, increase at the same time, tumaas or bumaba at the same time, it shows direct variation. Okay, so para mas maintindihan nyo, ito yun. As the value of x increases, so kung meron kang first quantity na x, tumaas siya, the value of y, which is your second quantity, also increases. So, pareho silang tumaas. Kung bababa naman yung x, dapat pareho silang bababa. Now, the graph uh, is a line that rises to the right. So, if you will see, okay, kung ipapa-identify sa inyo kung ano ba ang graph ng direct variation, Okay, it increases or it rises to the right. Ito ang itsura ng graph ng direct variation. Which means or this means that y varies directly as x. Okay, now kung meron tayong direct variation na a single x, meron din tayong tinatawag na direct square variation. It states that if y varies directly to the square of x. Ibig sabihin kung ang uh, x mo dito na naka-square ay nag-increase, dapat yung value din ng y, it follows. nag increase din siya. Now, for direct variation, okay, ang ating equation dyan, oh, sulat ko ah, equation for direct variation is y equals to kx. Okay, wherein yung k natin, ito yung constant natin, ha? Okay, constant. O, oh, ito yung sa direct variation. Para naman sa direct uh, square variation, sorry ha, naku, hindi na sanay ulit na naman si mamagsulat kasi natigil. So, we have here y is equal to k and then x squared. Okay, ito yung naka-square. Okay, so yan yung mga equation na dapat natin i-consider as we go on or as we tackle direct variation. Now, meron tayo ditong learning task. Okay, katulad ito ng nasa module nyo. Pero, syempre, hindi ba yung given? para meron naman tayong trail dyan. Okay, so we are going to identify the value of or complete this table. So, paano ba natin gagawin yan? Since uh, we have to complete it as y varies directly as x or x squared. Ha? So, ang una natin gagawin, dapat alam natin yung equation. So, pwedeng uh, direct variation to, pwedeng direct square variation. Pero dito, mapapansin ko, isang, isa lang yung given ng direct square variation. The rest will be direct variation. So, sa direct variation, sabi ko nga, that is y is equal to kx. Okay? So, since kx yan, we have to identify the value of k given this 45 and also yung equation natin. So, ang gawin lang natin, ipa-plug in lang natin yung mga given. Dito, we have, ang y natin ay 40 equals to, ang x natin ay 5. So, k times 5. To solve for k, we have to divide both sides by 5. So, 40 divided by 5 is 8. So, k is equal to 8. So, the value of k here is 8. 
Ayun na. Now, to solve or to give the equation, ang constant natin, yun yung k. So, ang laging may value natin dyan ay yung k natin. So, having that, ang equation natin will be y is equal to, ano ba ang k natin? 8 and then x. Oh, so, yan yung answer natin. Okay, oh, for number 2, oh, this is number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4. So, this is number 1. Okay, for number 2, ang nawawala natin ay y. So, same formula, k, uh, y is equal to kx. Y, wala tayong value. Ang k natin is 10 multiplied by our x, which is 6. So, ito yan na, 10 and then 6. So, y is equal to 60. Ito na ngayon yung ilalagay nyo dito. Dali naman. Okay, then, yung equation natin, syempre, y pa rin yan, equals to, ano ang k ninyo? k is 10 and then x. Okay, again ha, ang nagiging constant lang natin yung k. y and x is still variable. Okay, for number 3, uh, hindi natin alam ang value ni x, pero alam natin ang value ni k. Saan natin makukuha? Dito sa equation, di ba? y is equal to kx. So, yung katabi ni x, yun yung k. Ito si x, ito si k. So, ang k natin ay 4. Now, we can solve, ha? Ang y natin is 20. K equals to, ang K ninyo ay 4, and then we do not know the value of X. To find for X, you have to divide it by 4, divide it by 4, so your X will be 20 divided by 4, 5. So, X is equal to 5. O, oh, ayan na. Okay. Uh, now, for number 4, we have there, ah... Uh, Ito ay direct square, ha? Variation. So, we have 2x squared. Since wala tayong value ni k dito, tingnan lang natin yung equation. O, ano ba yung constant dyan? Ito yung 2. So, ang k natin will be 2. Now, let's have or let's solve. So, we will have here y is equal to 2x squared. Ito yung equation natin. Now, we have to have the value of y which is 32. So, 32 is equal to 2x squared. So, divide both sides by 2. Okay? 32 divided by 2 is, correct, 16 equals to x squared. Okay? What is the square root? So, kailangan kunin natin yung square root para makancel to. What is the square root of 16? So, that will be 4. So, the value here is 4. Ayan na, nakomplete na natin yung table. Ganun lang siya kadali. Okay, isunod naman natin agad-agad ang inverse variation. Ano ba ang inverse variation? Inverse variation states that y varies inversely as x or y is inversely proportional to x. So, magkabaliktad daw sila. Anong ibig sabihin nun? The decrease of one quantity results to the increase of the other quantity. Kung kanina sa direct variation, habang nag increase yung isang quantity, nag increase din yung isang quantity, dito naman habang bumababa yung isang quantity, tumataas naman yung isang quantity. Kaya nga siya inverse magkabaliktad sila. Now, however, if one quantity increases, the other decreases. It also shows inverse variation. Ngayon, kung nag-increase naman yung isa, yung kabila naman magde-decrease. Basta uh, magkaiba or magkasalungat or inverse nga yung nangyayari doon sa mga quantity mo, ibig sabihin inverse variation siya. Ngayon, ang graph niya, kung kanina ay rising to the right, eto, pag inverse, pababa. Okay? So, eto ang magiging itsura ng graph niya. Now, mag-solve na tayo. Okay, so for letter B, I know, ano ba ang equation pala ng inverse? Kung kanina y is equal to kx, ang, ang inverse natin will be y is equal to k over x. Dahil nga, tayo ay pababa division ngayon yung magiging operation natin. Kasi nga, para maging inverse yung ating uh, variation. 
Okay, now let's have letter B. Complete the table. Table. <laughs> if y varies inversely as x. Ato. So, sinabi niya, inverse variation yung gagawin natin. Okay, now, number 1, we have the value of y and x 4 and 5. And we have to solve for this. Okay, so number 1, we have y is equal to k over x. Ang y natin will be 4 equals to, we do not have any value for k, kaya k pa rin siya over x which is a 5. Okay, to solve for k, you just simply multiply. Diba? This is over 1. So, cross multiply. 4 times 5 is 20 equals to k. So, the value of your k is 20. So, ganun lang siya. Okay, now, for our equation, we have y is equal to, ano daw ang k ninyo? Ayan, diba? Ang constant natin ay k. So, we have here 20 over x. So, that's it. Ganun lang siya kadali. Okay, for number 2, we have the value of x and k. Ang nawawala ay y. So, we will have here y is equal to k over x. So, y is equal to, sorry, ang k nyo ay 45. Ang x nyo ay 5. So, y is equal to 45 divided by 5 is 9. So, we have here 9. Yee! O, ano ngayon ang ating equation? That is y is equal to, ano ang k ninyo? Kasi k over x, di ba? 45 over x. So, that's it. Okay, now for our, uh, for number 3. So, this is 2. Number 3 is this. So, for number 3, ang hinahanap natin ay x and k. Pero, makukuha natin ang value ni k dito sa equation natin. Since, alam natin na y is equal to k over x, yung numerator siya ang ating k. So, we have here 70. So, ayan na. Solve na natin. y is equal to, sorry, may value na tayo ng y. Ano ang y natin? 50, di ba? So, we have here 50. O, saan ko nakuha yun? Ito yun, ha? And then, ang k natin is 70 over x. So, para masolve natin yan, this is a whole fraction. So, over 1 siya. Cross multiply. You will have here 50 x equals to 70. So, divide by 50. So, you will have x, lowest term ito. So, wala na tong 0 na to. So, you will have here 7 over 5. Okay, ha? Divisible by 10 to. So, 70 divided by 10 is 7. 50 divided by 10 is 5. Kinancel ko lang yung 0 as a shortcut, ha? So, we will have here our x as a 7 over 5 fraction siya. Okay? Next, a 4. Mm -hmm. For number 4. Okay. So, ang nawawala naman natin ay y and k. Pero, alam natin na ang k again ay yung numerator. So, this is 18. Okay. For number 4, we will have here now, aha, uh -huh, y is equal to k over x. So, y is equal to 18 over your x is 6. So, y is equal to 3. Yan. Oha, uh -huh, tapos na. So, ganun lang natin siya isinosolve. Kaya, wag kayong matakot, ha? Baka mamaya iniisip nyo, ay, ang hirap naman nito. Tapos, nung napanood, no, ang dali lang naman pala. Okay, ngayon, kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito, ha? Please, i-comment mo dyan. Na-miss ko nang magbasa ng mga comment mo. Kaya, wag kang manonood. Tapos, skip lang. Tapos, wala na lang, ha? Mag-comment ka dyan. At, syempre, please visit and follow our Facebook page bago ito, ha? Na wala na kasi yung Love Mat TV, Love Mat TV page natin. Kaya sana masuportahan nyo rin itong Maria Matics Mat. Puntahan nyo siya mamaya, ha? Okay, let's spread the love of Mat. Thank you and bye! Mwah, 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 mwah.